Welcome, my name is Emily DiBernardo, and today is Monday, June 22nd. Today's scripture comes from Matthew 14, verses 22 through 33. Immediately, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side, while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, he went up on the mountainside by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, but the boat was already a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I, don't be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and, began, and beginning to sink, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Today's devotion is entitled, Walking on Water. It was bound to happen. Someone would find a way to do it because it would draw an audience. An internet video viewed millions of times showed a man walking on water. But the video was honest enough to admit that this seemingly impossible feat was just a trick. A plexiglass platform submerged slightly below the surface of a swimming pool, invisible to the spectators, made the stunt possible. Truly, only our Savior can walk on water. That's because he alone is the very Son of God, as the disciples confessed. His action on that blistering night wasn't just a performance, but a rescue. Yet, yes, this remarkable incident showed us his almighty power, but it also shows his deep love and concern for his people in need. In the midst of the fear and doubt of the disciples, he came with his comforting, storm-stilling presence. The Lord of creation is the Lord of our individual life. He calms our doubts and fears in all the challenging circumstances we face. Sickness, sorrow, setbacks, and more. The one who controls the wind and the waves lovingly comes to us with his means of grace, saying, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. It's not magic, but a miracle. Not an illusion, but reality. Let us pray. Jesus, Savior, pilot, pilot me over life's temp tempestuous sea. Amen.